Let me tell you a story. Pepin and Sherlock like to investigate mysteries. They have found out about this substance called lead, which can be found in all types of objects and places, and can cause a lot of harm to children. This substance was used to make paint many years ago, and many old houses have lead-based paint. Cracks in the paint release parts of this lead, and if children are playing around the cracked paint, when they put their hands in their mouths, they can eat it. When these lead-based paint pieces are swept up, paint dust is produced and gets into the children's systems more easily. Some toys can have lead too. Children can put them in their mouths and swallow it. Many dishes that are glazed also have lead. And when children eat from these dishes, they can eat it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is happening here? I don't like this. Lead is very harmful for children. Do you think we can do something to stop lead from harming these children? Children should always wash their hands before they eat because dirty hands from playing can have lead on them. Some children eat pieces of paint they have found on the floor or they might peel it off the doors or walls themselves and eat it. They should not do that because lead can be there. <laughs> Some toys can have lead, especially imported toys, antique toys, and toy jewelry. Children can put the toys in their mouths and eat the lead. <laughs> All toys need to be washed regularly. Parents should inspect the toys when they are purchased or recalled because they might contain lead. If they see glazes or decorations covering the surface of some ceramic dishes, it is possible that they contain lead too. Eating on these dishes is not good. made with chili powder or tamarind can contain lead too. Children should avoid these candies. Baby, Sherlock, and Super Dee Dee feel very proud about telling these stories about lead. And they feel children can learn how to stay away from lead.